What's up, folks? It's your boy Rico the Plug with TheRapHustle.com. That's TheRapHustle.com, and this is Real Rap with Rico the Plug. Now, I want to speak on something that's been going around lately uh, pertaining to this YSL indictment. Recently at Summer Jam, Young Thug sent a message saying, you know, basically that he feels like black art is being is under attack and that we need to protect black art. Now, I don't know what that means, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like art is under attack. I feel like criminal activities is under attack, <laughs> which has always been the case when it comes to law enforcement. So I don't really agree with the messenger in that situation because the only reason why I feel like that message just came from that messenger is because of the situation that he is in. Now, hip hop has been a part of our culture for 50 years now. You know, um, I remember when it first started, the powers that be didn't believe that it would be something that would last this long. You know, they, you know, kind of felt like it was just a fad coming from the poor community. Oh, let them have their fun. Let them do what they're going to do. That's nothing that's going to fade away. Now, fast forward 50 years later, and it's the main genre of music in the United States culture and around the world. So with that being said, the art is still there, you know, and it's a thin line between what's art and what's, you know what I'm saying, what's, should I say, doodling and scribbling, you know what I'm saying, on music. And my thoughts on that is an artist paints a picture you know what I'm saying? And only the best artists paint beautiful pictures. Pictures that people admire and want to hang on their walls or want to hear forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, becomes classics, becomes, you know, just art that you can listen to or look at for years to come. You know what I'm saying? That never depreciates it, appreciates throughout time. And my thoughts on the music that's being presented to the world, to our kids at this moment, as far as the self-destructiveness of our people, I don't think that's really art. I think that's kind of like doodling and scribbling because let me tell you, as a former artist myself, you know what I'm saying, I still do music and I still can create real music, but... I fell back off of it because I was like, if I am trying to create something positive for me and my family to, you know what I'm saying, create a legacy for myself, I don't want that legacy to be anything that's destructive in manner. You know what I'm saying? Like, the greatest people in our community have been praised throughout the years even after their death because of the great things that they have done to contribute to our community and uh whether that's Martin Luther King you know what I'm saying whether that's Barack Obama whether that's you know Bob Marley whether it's Tupac you know what I'm saying we have praised these folks because of the sense of awareness of ourselves that they have left with us. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, going back to this statement from Young Thugger, protecting black art. Yeah, music is art. Music, art is an expression of self. So it is art, no matter what kind of form you put it in. But when I listened to hip-hop music growing up, it was the music that made me feel good that I attracted more to, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not going to say I was a saint or anything like that because I also listened to the NWAs and stuff and I realized how that 
type of music altered me as a young man growing up listening to hip hop music, you know. We went from listening to Heavy D and, you know, Joski Love and, you know, it was about partying and uplifting and then NWA hits the scene and, yeah, they're talking about the things that's going on in our community and I felt more gravitated towards that because of what I was seeing and what I was living through at the time and I felt like, okay, this is real to me. So that was art to us. You know what I'm saying? And it helped to shape us into what we had become growing up. And then I realized that some of those things that I listened to growing up was very self-destructive music. You know, it started. I started to realize at the age of 35 that us as black men are the most sensitive men the most sensitive human beings in the world. And I'm going to say black men in America. Why? Maybe because we don't have a sense of self of where the fuck we came from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have all these other people who have traditions that know their traditions. Like, let's say this Spanish people, they have traditional ways, you know. Um, Jewish people have traditional ways, you know. But black American... What is our tradition? The only tradition that we have is America. The only thing that we know is America. And knowing what America has painted us to be, we have become exactly what they wanted us to be. So, in a sense, can't really down these dudes for the music that they put out here because, like most of them will tell you, this is all they know. And that's sad. And now we've come to a point where all we know is the self-destruct of ourselves. So all the music that we hear is, I got a stick. I killed this. Fuck that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck with me, I'm going to kill you. Uh, none of it sounds good no more. You know, it's not music to my ears anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, it's artists out here that still put out music that I gravitate to now more because of the fact that it had a concept to it it had a message to it and the message was not don't fuck with me and I'll kill you the message is more like you know this is what I did to come up and you can do it too um, I'm not better than the next person in the situation that I came from those are the kind of messages that move me these days. And I, fortunately, I haven't heard a lot of that from a lot of these artists, especially these up-and-coming artists. They are copying and pasting what they see other people do, like Young Thug, and then they try to mimic that, thinking that that's what they have to do to become famous. So in my efforts to try to help push independent artists to the next level, I kind of fell back off of it because I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for some real artists, like real artists that draw real pictures, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a passionate picture of how they feel, you know what I'm saying? I don't care anything that makes sense and kind of gives people an understanding of what's on your mind. I like that, you know what I'm saying? All this shoot a nigga with the stick. Too many people dying, bro. Um, it seems like our culture has become where we have to prove that we can kill each other. Then we rap about it on music. And this is the situation that Young Thug is in. You rapped about the destruction on the, of the people in our music. And allegedly, according to the indictment, you participated in the destruction of people. You made posts about the destructive of people. And now that you're in a situation where you have to face the consequences of the actions that you may or may have not put out into the world, you want us to rally behind you. You want us to feel like our art is being attacked because you're locked up. 
Well, guess what, buddy? We've been saying this shit for years. The oldest, the eldest statesman of this hip hop game has been saying this for years. Y'all need to chill out with that type of stuff. But because of the streaming, because of the internet, money is pouring into your pockets. The more ignorant shit you do, the more views you get. The more views you get, the more money you make. And when somebody's making a lot of money off of ignorant shit, it's kind of hard for them to stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? It gets to the point where they're just like, let me see. I, let me do the most outlandish shit that I could do to get some attention so I could make some money. Make, get more likes, get more views, get more streaming checks. I'm not mad about the money that you're making off of it. I'm not mad about anything, as a matter of fact. I am more disappointed in us as a people, us as parents, you know what I'm saying? Us as fathers, more importantly, because if we had real fathers in the lives of these kids... Maybe they'd be talking about something else. But because a lot of us fathers have left our kids abandoned to be raised by women that are very emotional. Now our boys are very emotional and don't know how to control their emotions. It's to the point where they'll just kill you for anything right now. You know what I'm saying? They're so sensitive that they'll shoot you for shooting on, stepping on their shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen a story on the news in Houston. A guy killed a lady's nine-year-old daughter because she wouldn't get back with him is what they're saying, allegedly. I don't know if that's the truth. I don't know. But he also shot the woman, and the woman came to, and she said that he did it because she would not get back with him. And now this is not a young guy. I mean, he might be younger than me, but this just speaks to the mind state of where we at now. It's like, okay, so since this woman is not interested in being with you anymore, you kill her daughter, a nine-year-old girl that had nothing to do with you, and rest in peace to that baby. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to all the babies who's losing their lives. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really finna R.I.P. these cats that's out here giving off this destructive energy and then catching it in the midst of it. Like, I can't R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? This is what you wanted. I mean... This is what you rapped about. This is what you talked about all the time. So I can't R.I.P. you, my bro. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I apologize to the families. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like what I'm saying. But when people ask for things, how could you be upset when they get it? I'm not upset. Like, I've had cousins, family members that have been murdered because of the things that they did to put them in that position. And although I miss them, I couldn't be mad at the person who took their life away. Because when you're put in a situation where it's either you or me, it's all about self-preservation at that moment. You know what I'm saying? And I can't be mad at you for taking out my family member because my family member did something wrong or was threatening you. I can't be mad at you about that. So we have a culture, and I grew up, in the Midwest, under the six-point star, Larry Hoover, you know, and I understood it to be about growth and development even before it was called growth and development because one of our main laws is that we are men amongst men. And what that means to me is that as a man, I have the right to choose how I feel about certain situations. So in my stint, I never fell for the okie doke of protecting one of my own when he has done something to offend other people. Like, no, I'm not finna do it, bro. Like, a thousand pardons, G, but I'm not finna protect anybody who went out their way to do something to somebody and now they got somebody on their head about it now you want to bring it back to us and try to get all of us involved i'm not with that bro you know what i'm saying but now we have a narrative these days where niggas is like you know uh i'm with my guy right or wrong no nigga i'm not with you if you're wrong bro you wrong on your own bro that means i could donate so let me make a scenario here so 
if you go and rape somebody's daughter and now this person wants to kill you, I'm supposed to ride with you? Hell no, nah, nigga. Matter of fact, you finna get the fuck from around me, my nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Because you ain't got to worry about them niggas doing nothing to you. I'm going to do it. Because if you did that to their daughter, what you going to do to mine, bro? You know what I'm saying? If you did that to his brother, what you going to do to my brother, bro? I don't condone that. I don't agree with that. You know, you my homie, right or wrong, man. That sound like some female activity to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, And the reason why I say that is because a lot of you cats don't have no respect for our women. But you try to push this narrative that you have respect for the next man. Now, how could you respect the next man more than you respect your woman? That don't make sense to me. It never did. It never will. I don't give a fuck how many raps you make about it, bro. It don't make sense to me that we would down our women, degrade our women, and act like, oh, we just with our homies, though. Nah, bro. You can't piss in my face and tell me it's raining, bro. I think that's cowardly, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think it really speaks to the mind state of a person who's stupid enough to lose their life, risk their life because somebody else did something stupid. That's kind of crazy to me. That's like insanity. Like, doesn't make sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then I also know that it's all cap. It's all cap. Might not look like it, but I'll be 51 years old this year. You dig? Live through the streets lived through life you know what i'm saying been in some of the things that you guys are indulging in but i was fortunate enough to come out of that mind state by reflecting thinking to myself mm, is this right because it don't feel right to me i don't care how much of a killer you think you is bro you can't sleep at night knowing that you run around here killing people. You don't get no sleep for that. You don't get no peacefulness for that. You know what I'm saying? Because you always got to watch your back. You got to watch your back. I really believe that these cats that's out here running around talking about they hitters and the ones that really are hitters, man, are really just miserable and don't want to be here anymore. So... If they don't care about their life, they really don't care about yours. And my advice to them type of cats is just, you know what I'm saying, this is not, you know what I'm saying, not to sound no kind of way, but if you don't give a fuck about yourself or nobody else, then do us all a favor and kill yourself. That's it, just kill yourself. Why are you killing people who do give a fuck about themselves? We got all these mass shootings going on now. Just to even speak even further, okay. We'll tell you how this government do us, right? Let's go. I'm gonna do that on another one. But right now, I just wanna. Black art is not under attack. Only way black art could be under attack is if they stop selling microphones, they stop selling motherfucking paint, they stop selling anything you do to make you stop making art. That's the only way it could be under attack. Stop with that narrative. Meek Mill, stop with that bullshit, bro. Come on, man. I get it. Niggas got agendas. Niggas is trying to act like they part of something. They really here to help push the culture. That's not pushing the culture when we pushing a fake narrative, bro. Black art is not under motherfucking attack, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Cut that shit out. The only thing that's under attack here is us attacking each other, bro. Young Thug and YSL are not locked up because of their art. Been lots of people for years rapping about death and stuff like that. Allegedly, they're locked up for murder. <laughs> they're locked up for it. The destruction of our people. So, I just wanted to get on here and say that, man, because I watch a lot of things on YouTube, man. I listen to a lot of things. Oh, let me, come on, man. Give y'all one more thing, man. There should never have been a time where I could go online and see two grown men 
in my age group or older disrespecting each other speaks a lot to our mind state lots to our morals a lot to our quote unquote street codes you know whack 100 I get it you have an agenda starting your podcast you're on YouTube every day, I mean, not YouTube, you're on Clubhouse every day, engaging with your people, having conversations amongst your people, and people are taking those conversations and putting them out in the YouTube situations and spreading it out around the world. And okay, cool, you know, it's not you doing that, that's them doing that. But guess what you're doing, sir? You are speaking on situations with people people's private situations, whatever they're doing when they're not doing business with you. And that has nothing to do with business, bro. Like, you talking about Master P being broke because he said something to Nick Cannon? It's not your business, bro. Yeah, Nick Cannon's your business partner, but it's not your business to take up for Nick Cannon. If Nick Cannon wants to do that, he could do that himself, bro. He didn't ask you to do that, bro. So you acting like you the big homie in everybody's situation and you gonna protect everybody who you fuck with, bro, and you gonna disrespect the other person that you don't fuck with. That shit is not cool, bro. Grown ass men. If they got problems with each other, let them handle it they way, man. You know what I'm saying? You trying to entertain your little cronies and talking about people. Oh, I seen a videotape with Benzino fucking himself with a purple dildo like bro why is you watching them type of videos first of all that's what i want to know you know what i'm saying what type of man wants to see a video of another man sticking a fucking dildo in his ass bro and then go online and brag about him seeing it bro what the fuck have we come to man what is this this is why I haven't been around. I have look. I haven't been on the scene. Look, I'm tired of the cap shit. Look, I'm not trying to further nobody's agenda to make money off the destruction of my people. I don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. None of that, bro. And if it means that I never get my platform off the ground, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Real cool with that. But I am looking for real artists real musical artists that are not for the destruction of our people you know it's cool to talk about things that you've seen and be make awareness to these situations if that conversation is about changing that but if it's about putting more of that out into the world i'm not gonna promote it bro you know what i'm saying like Every time somebody wants to shoot a video, the first thing they want to do is put guns in it. Like, I shoot videos. I'm not finna shoot no video and you got your guns pointed at me, bro. You know, I was raised in the area that you don't show nobody your gun unless it's time to use that person, that thing. But now, hey, everybody got guns, man. You ain't the only one with a gun, bro. Stop that shit. Because the only thing you doing is giving out personal information on yourself. You know what I'm saying? That it shouldn't be out there. Because if something happens to somebody that you're into it with, you jeopardize everybody around you. Hence the YSL case. They're jeopardizing everybody around them. Not just the people that they've, you know what I'm saying, allegedly done things to, but their families, they, their kids. Like, what's cool, what's cool about killing the next man who got kids, and you got kids? That's selfish, bro. I've been through this shit. Therefore, I can speak on this shit. I'm a peaceful man. But I'm also a warrior of God, so. 
Like David, I will kill Goliath if I have to. If I have to. If Goliath is a threat to me, Goliath got to go. If Goliath ain't doing nothing to me, I'm going to let him live. It's not on me to go out my way to destroy Goliath. If Goliath is not trying to destroy me. And if Goliath is trying to destroy me, and I did do something to Goliath, you would not know about it. <laughs> you would not know about it. On that note, I like to say peace and blessings to everybody. God, energy to everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you have any artists, or are you, if you're an artist, if you know any artists that make good music and would love the opportunity to be on a platform that promotes real black art, whether it's music, whether it's cooking, I don't care, whatever it is that you do. And you feel you have what it takes to make a difference in your family's life with your art, with your clothes, with your whatever you do, whatever talent that God gave you. And you're independent. And you need a platform to be pushed on. The raphustle.com is for you. There won't be a whole lot of blogs about cats beefing. I'm not going to perpetuate and keep putting fire on top of fire, man. I'm trying to put the fire out, bro. If anything, I would love to talk to artists who have problems with other artists and let's have a sit down, whether it's face to face or on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Let me get you on this side, you on this side. Let's talk about this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should die. Because another man is in his feelings. Get out your feelings, man. Quit being so emotional, man. You think it's being tough. I think it's being emotional, man. Find a psychiatrist or somebody to talk to, man. Y'all are too emotional out here, man. For real, for real. Nothing cute about that emotional shit, man. That's why y'all don't respect the women because y'all are acting like the women. Can we create another narrative? Can we paint another picture with our black art? That's the challenge. Black art is still alive. It's the narrative. That needs to die. It's your boy Rico the Plug. That's real talk of Rico the Plug. Make sure you follow the rap hustle underscore C O M on IG. S subscribe to the rap hustle on YouTube. Follow me at Rico underscore the plug on IG. DM me music, videos, art. Links to your clothing lines, whatever you got going on, DM it to me, man. I'm a supporter of those that support me. If you ain't supporting, you ain't important. So don't think you is. Time for us to stop being selfish and start healing and helping each other, man. Other than that, man. We headed for self destruction. Rico the plug, real talk of Rico the plug. Come out. Peace.